Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen so if you're new here don't forget to, to click subscribe especially if you like cleaning videos because that is what's coming up today. So I have done a couple of cleaning videos now so if you are interested in those make sure that you watch this one first but then go to the playlist. So the playlist will be in the description and also in the cards and the little eye card. Um, so you can check them out when you've watched, finished watching this video. Um, but today's video is going to be how I clean my front loading washing machine. Um, so there was a bit of a surprise when I was doing it. I will say that if you have a weak stomach, it's probably not for you. I feel so ashamed that I let it get to this stage. Um, there was a smell coming off it and a smell coming from our clothes, which is what prompted me to clean it. Um, but I think I cleaned it when, I, when we moved into this apartment two years ago and since then, the odd wipe but never cleaned the filter or never did like a deep clean on it and um, so today we are using um coconut no we're using baking soda and vinegar and um, to clean the washer so I'm just gonna jump straight in and show you the content of me doing my washing machine so there is a number of areas that you should be cleaning when you have a front loader. So the first and main one is obviously the outside rim, this part here, and also inside the drum. Um, when you're cleaning the rim, you need to pull back, and I'll, sh I'll do a close-up of that pretty soon. You need to pull back this and clean the whole way around the inside. You have the drawer where you put your detergent and conditioner. You have the general outside of it. You need to clean around the door frame, and that is... It can get very dirty and then also down here um, each one would have a filter and you need to release the filter and clean inside there as well and this will help get rid of those nasty smells that you have been experiencing when you wash your clothes and so forth. So something I will say is that when you're releasing the filter you would need to have a cloth of some kind and also um, a a basin just to hold the filter in because a lot of stuff can come out of it. I haven't cleaned this in a long time and I expect it to be awful so excuse me in advance if it is really awful. So I can already see it is disgusting and I don't want to dig it out. Ew. What the heck is all this gunk? Do you see all of that? Like what is that? Ew, it smells so bad. Ew. Really just looks like it is paper. I do apologize for the state of this, but it looks like it's a whole load of paper. Ew. I'm also going to take out this, um, just because I'm going to be washing the filter anyways. I'll just say I'll take out this so as you can see there's like soap scum and whatever in there. And this is what it looks like on the inside so I will get something to clean in there as well. So here it is again, um, guys I have no idea what that is and I'm pretty ashamed to be showing you this, it would definitely be something I want to hide but hey, ugh. so right now I'm going to put on a pair of gloves, um, just because I don't want to touch it, 
it is disgusting. There's some money in there. Maybe I could get rich off that money. No, but what I'm going to do is take out all of that gunk and then soak it. Yeah, as you can see, it's mainly kind of clear now. So what I'm going to do is soak it to get the rest of this gunk off it. And then throw all of this in the bin. So next we move on to cleaning the rim. So as you can see there's dirt on the outside but on the inside when you pull back this, I'm not sure if you're going to get a good view of it because there's not great light, but basically there is stuff in here that shouldn't be in here. Um, so what I'm going to do is put some baking soda and vinegar in so you can kind of see it there and soak it up. There we go here. So like mold and mildew can build up so I'm going to rub it the whole way around it, the top and the bottom and um, we will do that right now. And then also obviously I'm going to rub the outside of it as well. So I have my baking soda so I'm just going to pour it in and I piled a massive bit in it there. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that but I'm going to just spread it out. Then I'm going to put in some of the vinegar. So, if you can see, it bubbles over. For good measure, I'm just going to get this cloth and I'm going to, first of all, soak it in some vinegar. Like so, and then I'm going to just place it in. So I actually had to get um, a Brillo pad, it's called a Brillo pad, I'm not quite sure what it's called in other countries but it's a Brillo pad and I had to scrub all the way around the rim um, because it just wasn't working or anything else so it looks pretty clean now and I'm just going to wipe it down we need to just take out this what I'm going to do is just give it a little Run around. And it comes out looking lovely like that. So I'm just going to get this cloth and take out some of the crap. Till you discover it is within each other to forgive and make amends. It looks like so in here. It's hard to. Now you can see that there still is kind of like mildew and this kind of mold. But what I'm going to do is once a month I'm going to do this and hopefully my technique will get a little better. But it looks so much better than it did. So I am pretty happy with that result and um, as I said I will keep doing it every month. It's very important to clean around the rim, around the glass and the inside. This 
hold a lot of dirt. There's a lot of dirt here. Um, so I'm just going to get my Brillo pad or what's left of my Brillo pad and just scrub that away because it's the easiest way. So that is the outside of a clean. So this has been soaking about 20 minutes now <clears throat> and it looks like this. So a whole lot better than it was but the water don't look so nice. So what I'm going to do is I have an old toothbrush here and I'm just going to clean it a little bit more just to try to get more of that stuff off it. So now we have the drawer so you can see it looks like that. As I said this is we're renting so everything's kind of worn off but um, it looks like this. So this is where you put your um, conditioner, your soap and your pre-wash. So I'm just going to clean out the little bit of dirt that is kind of built up on it. These have been both washed so it's time to put them back in. And so to clean the inside, you pour your baking soda in. And up here, into where I put my powder, we're going to add some vinegar. And then I'm going to put it on my hottest wash, which was, for me is 95. And um, so come over here, so 95 is number two. So I spin it around to number two. Press. So the first cycle is complete, so when we open it, it looks very clean and then it looks like this. So it looks pretty much the same, but what I will say is I have learned that you should always wipe around the glass door and the seal and leave it open to prevent smells and stuff from getting in. I am happy with my first time, really my proper first time cleaning out or our wash machine. So there you have it guys, it turned out great in the end. The start was awful, the smell, I can't describe the smell that was coming when I pulled out the filter. It was awful and I'm ashamed, but with all of these cleaning videos, I've been very transparent. My video two weeks ago, I did show you the awful clutter and mess my home is in. So I wanted to be real with you guys and just show you that not everybody was perfect. Not everybody is keeping up with their cleaning. And I definitely wasn't one of those, but it is something I'm working towards in 2017. So um, if you are interested, as I said at the start, if you're interested in watching my previous um, cleaning videos, make sure that you go to the cards and also the description and there will be the playlist I have there. Um, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Every Wednesday I'm going to be doing cleaning videos, so make sure you subscribe. Um, you can just click here and um, the, the playlist for the cleaning videos will be here. And thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. If you like it, give it a big old thumbs up. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.